Hi everyone, this is VIT Today's FII and I'm Mansi Gupta. Today we'll talk about the lawsuit against Google. The Justice Department of the United States of America on Tuesday sued Google over allegations that its search and advertising empire violated federal antitrust laws thereby launching what is likely to be a lengthy, bruising legal fight between Washington and Silicon Valley that could have vast implications for the entire tech industry. This lawsuit is a result of more than a year of investigation and marks the first time that the United States has cracked down on a major tech company since it sued Microsoft Corp for anti-competitive practices in 1998. The lawsuit has accused the company of violating competition law to preserve its monopoly over internet searches and online advertising. Google has been said to use anti-competitive tactics to shut out rivals and extend that monopoly. The lawsuit focuses on the billions of dollars Google pays each year to ensure that its search engine is installed as the default option on browsers and devices. Officials said that these deals have actually helped secure Google's place as the gatekeeper to the internet, allowing it to own or control the distribution channels for about 80% of the search queries in the United States. This suit said that the deals have hurt the public by damaging search quality in terms of privacy and data protection and have thereby reduced choice and innovation. The lawsuit has also encouraged a call for action against other tech firms like Amazon, Facebook and Apple. But the timing of the lawsuit that is, just a few weeks before the US presidential election, has also raised several questions about the political significance of it. Google has called the case deeply flawed. The company has stated that its sector remains intensively competitive and that its practices put customers first. Stating that people use it only because they choose to and not because they are forced. Google has faced similar claims in the European Union. It is already appealing against 8.2 billion euros in fines demanded by the European Commission, which include fines over shopping results, fines over claims that it uses Android software to unfairly promote its apps, and also fine for blocking adverts from rival search engines. In conclusion, I would like to say that taking on a giant like Google would be one of the biggest competition cases in the decade. But the case to decide if the California-based company abuses its market power could last years. Deciding who is right certainly would not be a quick decision.